low battery indicator it is an ideal solution to protect rechargeable batteries from deep discharge it gives an led indication when the voltage level in the battery drops below 7.7 .7 volt in this video we will learn how to make a low battery indicator with the help of some electronic components like transistor led and resistors These are the components which are needed to make this project. 2. NPN, transistor, BC547, 100 kilo ohm resistor, 10 kilo ohm resistor, 147 kilo ohm resistor, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, 2 red LED, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 10 PCB, 4 screw with nuts and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. 100 kilo ohm resistor and 10 kilo ohm resistor are used in voltage divider mode to drop the voltage when battery voltage is greater than 7.7 .7 volt then transistor q1 will have greater than 0.7 volt at its base terminal so transistor q1 will turn on when transistor q1 turns on its collector will have a low signal base of transistor q2 is connected with the collector of transistor q1 so transistors Q2 will turn off. When transistor 2 will turn off then LED will not glow. It indicates that battery is charged. When battery voltage goes below 7.7 .7 volt, then transistor Q1 will have less than 0.7 volt at its base terminal. So transistor Q1 will turn off. When transistor Q1 turns off, its collector will have a high signal. Base of transistor Q2 is connected with the collector of transistor Q1. So transistors Q2 will turn on. When transistor Q2 will turn on, then LED will also turn on. It indicates that battery is low. These are the components which we will use to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base. And for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a one inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 100 kilo ohm resistor.
Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 47 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder the red LED. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the transistor. There are 3 pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will test our project. We are using two batteries. One battery is charged and another battery is discharged. We will connect the discharged battery first and we can see that red LED is glowing. It shows that battery is discharged. Now we will connect a charged battery in our circuit. We can see that red LED is off. It indicates that battery is charged. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.